Hey guys, this is Joe Zavaleta, also known as Triple Jazz. Welcome back to How to Draw the Right Way. Today, we're gonna to be breaking down how to draw Metal Sonic. His design is largely unchanged from his first release in Sonic CD, in comparison to other Sonic characters. Throughout the years, they've made slight adjustments, but nothing too serious. Nice. We can see the design start to change here in Sonic Adventure 2. His generation's design is chibified, and it looks nothing like the original concept art shown to us in Sonic CD. His forces model is nice, but it lacks classic design. But Jazz, what about Sonic Mania Adventure's Metal Sonic? To which I say... You were good, kid. Real good. But as long as I'm around, you'll always be second best, see? The OVA design is my personal favorite, and it's the one I'm going to be teaching you guys how to draw. Before we get into the actual tutorial, I just want to briefly go over some fundamentals that I found very helpful when learning how to draw Metal Sonic. There are two channels that I've garnered a lot of artistic fundamentals from, one being Proko, he's on the right side, and the second being Modern Day James, he's on the left. Keep that in mind as we go through the tutorial. I'll leave links in the description. I highly recommend you check them out. So as usual, I'm just going to do a basic shape breakdown. Hopefully you guys are familiar with my general shape breakdown for now. I always start with a circle for the head, a circle for the body, and then I begin to break down every other detailed shape into its respective simplest form. So for example, his shoulders, I'm just going to make into simple blocks. I'm not going to complicate the shape and round them out. His hands are simple squares, his feet are triangles, his ears are triangles, and his spikes are triangles. Remember that shape breakdowns are just guidelines. You don't have to adhere strictly to them. One thing to note about Metal Sonic's design is it's the most like a human skeleton out of every other character. We're going to use lines to indicate the bones and circles to indicate the joints. Metal Sonic's arms are quite large in comparison to the rest of his body. It's not the same proportion as a regular human. So now that we have a general understanding of Metal Sonic's shape breakdown, I'm going to now break down each element of Metal Sonic into digestible chunks that hopefully you guys can practice and then finally put together. So we're going to start with the head. One of the keys to nailing the Metal Sonic look from OVA is giving him a rather large forehead. Unlike Sonic, Metal Sonic only has three spikes, and they're connected via a Bezier curve from point to point. Next we're going to do the body. It's a simple circle with a rectangular prism attached to the back which represents the jet. I quickly draw rectangular prisms on the sides for his pauldrons. To give the illusion of his concave body, I simply draw a circle within a circle in correct perspective in relation to the body. You could also use the guides on the prism to help you determine what exactly that perspective is. I decided to show you the back of his body because his front is pretty self-explanatory, it's just circles within circles. I start with a triangle this time, but I highly recommend you go with the rectangular prism instead. I was just trying out different methods. He has a simple spike sticking out of the back to indicate the direction of the jet. Always keeping in mind the most basic shapes for everything. I can always add detail later. Moving on to the arm, I'm going to use a simple block for his shoulder and then circles again that I'm going to turn into spheres for his joints. His arm for now is just a rectangular prism. Moving on to his hand, I draw a single line to indicate the bone, and then a simple, again, rectangular prism for the foundation of his hand. His fingers I simply break down into more lines for his bones, and then I draw cylinders along that axis. Moving on to his legs, again, I'm just drawing and indicating bones, his joints, and then breaking down his more complex forms into simple prisms, so I can draw them in 3D. This is the most challenging aspect of drawing metal. And finally, moving on to the foot, we can make simple rectangular prisms for each side of the foot and divide it by a cylinder in the middle for where his bolt is. I realized at this point that I'd forgotten the separation between the two sides of his feet, so I decided to just make a cut where the bolt is and continue the 3D object on the other side. 
All of metal's forms are complex geometry, but by breaking things down into simple shapes and then converting those simple shapes into 3D forms, he's much easier to draw, as you'll see in this final version. And I'm able to draw him however I see fit because I understand his geometry and his shapes. I decide I'm not really happy with this final version, so I'm going to push the drawing just a bit further. Thank you guys for being patient with me. I'm very excited to be making content again. I feel pretty satisfied with this video. I hope you guys learned a lot. I had fun making it. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content, and if you want to continue learning how to draw Sonic characters. Thanks guys. We'll see you around.